Welcome, in front of me is an Asus Zen Pad 3S and today I will show you how to go to the startup process of the device. So once you put it up for the first time you will see this welcome screen. So start by choosing your language, I'm gonna stick with English but to change it all you need to do is tap here and just scroll till you find your language and simply tap on it. And let's tap on next, uh, active input method, so I'm gonna stick with English but if you have some kind of different keyboard you might want to change it. Um, then you have Wi-Fi connection. Now this step is completely optional. If you don't have a Wi-Fi next to, next to you, you can just tap on next and not connect. If you do, you can simply choose yours and connect to it. Uh, then you have the terms and conditions as you can see. You can read them and then, well, you will have to agree to it. So let's tap next and agree. Next page, Google services. So you have several Google services. You can tap on the arrow here to extend it and read exactly what it does. But basically you have some uh, localizations. Uh, so it basically gathers data on you and where you are. And then you have uh, send system data. So again, gathering data on you and sending to Google. Um, so let's tap on next. You can disable both of them and not agree to it basically. And it will work just fine. Uh, then you have a date and time settings. Now, if you choose to connect uh, to network, this will be set automatically. Uh, but if you didn't connect, you can tap on here and just select whatever time you want by just choosing one like so, and then tap on next. Then name, if you choose a name, I can leave this empty. And if you do, uh, the name will be set uh, to the name of the device. So in this part, it would be in this time, it would be a Zenpad. 3s uh, if you leave this empty so i will but if you want you can name it to i don't know your name or something that will distinguish this device um, then you have protect your tablet so this will allow you to set a fingerprint and other methods of unlocking the device now if you choose to set up a fingerprint but i will do as an example so by default it's set to set up fingerprint which will also set up some other method Let's see, if we go to the next part, we have the ability to either set a pattern, parent, or password. Uh, you do have to have other way of unlocking apart from fingerprint. Um, I mean, if you lose your finger, <laughs> uh, you won't really have a way to unlock your device. So that's why there is a pattern, pin, or password. Um, and also sometimes if your finger, I don't know, gets cut uh, or is dirty, this also might not work all the time. It's not as reliable and pattern I will always remember as an example. That's what I'm going to go with pattern and then uh, require pattern uh, to start device. I highly advise to not do it because then you're forced to put a pattern before the device it fully turns on and after it turns on, which is just annoying in my opinion. And here, draw to unlock pattern. So we just draw our pattern, then tap on continue. We draw the same pattern once more, confirm. And now we get to scan the finger. So the sensor is right here as the home button. So what you want to do is just touch the sensor. You don't want to press it, just touch it. And when you're doing this, make sure that you get a good read of your entire finger, basically the middle of it along with all the edges. So however you press the um, and the button it will always unlock so oops uh just continue so let's finish this up there we go tap next next uh next you, have, you can log into the uh aces some kind of programs and stuff like that uh, i'm just gonna opt out prefer to use um the typical google ones then you have um account and sync so here you can choose to connect to your account um, if you have a google one for for instance you can log into it and then also you will have the ability to retrieve a backup of for instance your previous device and all of the apps that were located on it and then immediately install it onto this i'm just gonna skip this anyway and click on done and that's about it now the device is fully set up and because of that pattern uh, we do have to unlock the device either with this as you can see, as you can see, or with our finger. Now to unlock, you do have to press the, the button. You don't touch it, you actually press it. 
So that is how you would go to the setup process of this device. And if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.